need the flashlight. Okay, this thing here. What is, is this plug then? No. Okay, wait a minute. Y'all got to excuse me because I'm still very much like, okay, this equation is it, it, it's uh it's an ongoing situation where I'm I'm I keep improving upon it. And that's what I intend to do without question, you know, just keep um it's doing what it do. Oh, yeah, it's, it's the same clear message since day one you've been preaching. Since day one. Uh, the same tone, yeah, same yeah, energy. Yeah, I'm talking about I'm talking about the alchemy that I'm doing. So y'all have to excuse me because I'm still while we while we talking, my hands are actively moving. I'm doing things. You understand? So just forgive me. I'm, and, and just, uh, I'm and we're gonna work together here. We did it right. It's gonna work. Okay, now that fan right there, babe. I'm gonna plug in right here. It's gonna reach. Really? That's it. That's it. But why is this stuck? What? What is stuck right here? Look at this. This that green cord. Why is that green cord stuck like that? Mm -hmm. It's stuck to something. You see? You feel it's stuck? What is it? Okay, now. And this, this cord here, that goes to the yellow lights. Let me see what I can do with this. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Okay. And that should give us. That's going to make it hot. I'm going to turn that off then. Okay, let me get this greenish stepping cord. But at least it'll be where I can plug it in when I want to. You yeah. see what I mean? Yeah. All right, wait. Okay. Now, okay. Now, the green extension cord, mm -hmm. they can put the white extension cord. Well, I, I, I'll get it up there because I've got to deal with it. This, this lamp here, I'm going to use that in, in special situations. Um, shit. Okay. We're going to just slow this down. I gotta get this fan turned on. You guys still there? Sure. All right, give me a second. We get hot in here about a minute. Hey? Okay. Does that make it feel any better? Because at least it's out the way. All that stuff here is going to have to be moved, huh? I mean, everything that's back there, it's, it's all that that's back there. We got to do something with that. Because that, that, how we gonna, we'll put it out there with, with the suitcase if need be. You know what I mean? It's got to do something because this is that. We can't work like that. You know what I mean? That, I got to have it where air can fall around this entire situation. That thing in there is not plugged up in there. Yeah. Well, it needs to be. Give me a second, you guys. I'm sorry. No worries. All right. That's what he's working on now is what they call what he calls well, what is called alchemy. It's a science where you know it involves many you know elements and a lot of patience and a lot of um, you know a lot of out of my realm of knowledge. I don't know too much about it. Uh, Atom Ray Grim he's a master at it. He's been doing most of his life, but so he's you know at this moment doing it right now. Believe it or not, what I'm doing is designed to help every new woman, man, woman, and child. You carry color. What I'm doing right, right this minute and what I'll be continuing to do, listen, is all designed to uh, change the condition that these white folks place on you and us as a whole. Uh, not to mention the fact that I'm also revising a book that I wrote some years ago called The Book of Revolution because um, it's
it's more needed now, and I have so much more to say, you know, in lieu of this uh, ongoing situation where police is killing our people. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I don't play that. You're not killing mine. I'm thinking I'm going to sit back and not do nothing about it. But I got good sense. I know any, any of us, as people of color, if we were to pick up guns and to go up against these people, that's all they're waiting on us to do so they can wipe us out. They're efficient killers. We wouldn't know anything about killing had they not killed us. And, and we learn by virtue of all the things that they did to us, we learn what they were doing. We wouldn't have knowledge of those things. We are peaceful creatures by nature that they have taken extreme advantage of. And um, I'm just uh, not happy about it. So I work vigorously night and day to bring about a change that you all are going to bear witness to because I don't want you to think for one minute that what I'm doing is not without power, carries great power. In time, you all will be able to see it and know it for yourself. Okay, Brandon, I'm um, almost ready here. Let me see what I can do here. Hold up. Got to get this group trip up and, up and on. Let's see. I think I'm on. Let me see. Yeah, I think I get it together now. I'm almost there. Wow. Give me this. Uh-oh. Okay. This heat. Man, I don't know. It must be about 90. Where? What's the temperature like there where you at, Brandon? Oh, um, it's, it's nice. It's about 80. 80, 80 85. 85 where I'm at. Hmm. It's warming up, summertime, June. Yeah, you ought to know it. That's a good thing, though. That's a good thing, the sun coming out. I like the heat, and I like cold. Mm -hmm. Okay, Brandon, here we go, here we go. We're going to rock this. Let's do this just like this. Hold on. Let's see if I can get this going. Hold on. Can y'all hear that? No, I can't hear anything. You can't hear nothing. Uh uh. I got him. Wait a minute. Call me on my wife's phone. Okay, one second. Let me, let me see what you hear, 
Can we hear something now? It's a little low, but it's fine. Yeah, it's a little low. I, right. It, it, I can't hear anything now. I'm asking you, is it better when I play it to you? Yes, I can hear it. Yes. You can hear it? Yeah, I did. It's not playing now, but I did hear it. Oh, no, it's not playing now. Just tell me. Closer together. What's going on, Brandon? What's happening with you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Good to hear your voice. Everything good on your end? Yeah, I'm saying that. Yeah, I can hear you. Talk to me. Good. I talk back. Talk oh, oh. Yep, we got a long email today from some uh, bloggers wanting to get you to debate. I mean, they got a lot of people want to, you know, challenge you to see if you're really the real messiah. You so know, they, you know it's sad that they, they want to look at it like challenge or 
a debated situation. And now I look at it like it's something that needs to be because when something falls into your awareness, you hold a responsibility to investigate it mm. and to know for certain whether it is or it is not. Right. Like I said, if I was not Messiah and someone came to me and told me the Messiah was over here or over there, I'd be busting my foot mm-hmm. to try to get to him to find out if indeed, right. you know, this is true. I mean, come on. You're talking about the most proudly spoken about person on the planet now who everybody calls Jesus, but by the way, my name is not Jesus, and no, it wasn't Jesus. But if that name broke your vote, and that's what you need to get to there, you can call me Jack, you can call me James, you can call me Jake Jonas, mm-hmm. just so long as my people get what they need. You Ooh. follow me? And yes. there was no day. If I was standing right over there 2,000 years ago, and you said, hey, Jesus, hey, Jesus, I would not have even turned around because I wasn't speaking English then. I was speaking Hebrew. And there is no letter J in the he- or J sound in the Hebrew alphabet. My name was not Jesus. And they took my words and turned them. Like they said in the book of Matthew, many shall come in my name saying that I am Jesus. Believe them not, but they shall deceive many. You know, that's not what I said. I said, many shall come in my name, Joshua, saying that I, Joshua, am Jesus. Believe them not, but they shall deceive many. And you see how something that small can take people far, far off track as to where it is they should be inside of the fact here today. You see? And it's sad because my people need me now more than they ever have. True. And the truth of the matter is I'm here, but like before, I came to my own, and my own received me not. I'm hoping and praying very hard these days that new being people the world over have the good sense enough to stop and check it out, to investigate it in a way that would be to make conscious decision as to if indeed I am the Messiah or not. Ooh. That's totally up to you. So I welcome it. I think that it's, it's all to do. Is there anything else you want to say in reference to it? Quick question. What's the question? What is a Messiah? The word Messiah comes from the Hebrew word Messiah, which means anointed be someone who has the ability to take something dirty and to wipe it clean. However, you know, to take something dirty and wipe it clean, I've been doing that now for a very long time. The mindset of taking something which is about to die and giving it life again. You see, right. turning it around to the point that he loves life and doesn't want to die. You follow? Cool. That's uh, what I would say is more so needed here today. You know, like, don't get me wrong, to take something dirty and wipe it clean has always been the mystery. Clean up the filth of the Western world that has been established by what you call America here to stay and her way of uh, just being all that it can be. However, not righteously in a way by which you can feel comfortable in the midst of those acts of devilish that, that America and its way of being has perpetrated now against us as a people for more than 400 years. Mm. It's been quite a journey. And with all the different elements, like the elements of the Willie Lynch syndrome and the elements that, you know, has taken our women far, far away in their mindset as to 
the Nubian man and, you know, his rightful place in the home, the natural order of things has been disturbed. And this natural order has got to be revised and brought back. Ooh. Which is one of the reasons why I'm revising the book of Revolution, which I want everybody to be looking for because you're going to want to, as a person of color, you're going to want to read this, and then you're going to want every person of color you know to read it also because it speaks very profoundly. And I'll let you all who get the book read the book for yourself. Okay, Brandon, any more, anything else you want to talk about? No, um, just one related to, so they speak of like it being God's son. Like how does, you know, you would, how does that, that relate to, you know, who you are here today as in relating to like, you know, waiting for, you know, God going to send his son and, you know, he's going to be here to save the planet. You know, how how does that story play in? Part of Hold it. on one second, if you will, but I'm having a hard time hearing you, so I'm going to try to um, fix that. I'm having a real hard time hearing you, so I'm going to put you on a Bluetooth so I can hear you a little. Go ahead, talk now. I was saying, you know, they, they speak of, of, of uh, Jesus returning, you know, and, uh, coming here to save us or, you know, to save the planet. You know, right. like, how, do, how does that relate in? Okay, well, let me say this. The planet is in its worst state now than it has ever been. And it is quickly going, you know, getting worse and worse and worse every day. And Meanwhile, you know, you have many different belief systems that have taken our people in one direction or another, where, you know, what seems to be escaping our people here today is a thing called common sense. Mm. <laughs> you know, common sense sometimes is the hardest sense to have. Why? Because it's common. It's like looking for a salt. It's right in front of your face, but you just don't see it. That's not something to be embarrassed about. It's just something to take note of that you may be able to cure and make right and make right in your life before your twilight does come. What I will say, however, is that again. The planet is in its worst state now than it has ever been. And they will teach you that this God or Allah or Jehovah or whatever name you want to call your higher power has might and power over all things. They teach this in Christianity. They teach this in Judaism. And they teach this in Islam. And then they will tell you that this God or Allah or Jehovah not only has might and power over all things, but is the all-knowing and all-wise. So the question becomes, doesn't my God know that the state of the planet is in its worst condition now than it has ever been? And you would have Mm. to say yes, if your God is the all-knowing. The next question becomes, well, if he has might and power over all things, then couldn't he just snap his finger and make everything better than it's all wrong and all bad? Right. Because according to everyone's religion, be they Christian, Muslim, or Jew, this God or Allah or Jehovah, if you say in El Shafi, the most, listen, the almighty, that means he has might and power over all what? Things. Things. So, if he has might and power over all things, you would have to ask, well, doesn't he know what we're going through? And if he knows what we're going through, then how is it and why is it that he doesn't just snap his finger and make everything better that we all know is not right? Mm. Those questions like that get under the skin of anybody who wants to take time to think about because when there are no answers to something people become frustrated they Mm. say well 
what is this guy trying to do? Is he trying to be a wise guy? Is he trying to be a troublemaker? No. I am really doing the very best I can to get you all to stop and think. Here in a time when I know that thinking for most people here today is too much like work. Mm. It's something that people don't want to do. They would like to go through the situation and not have to think about it more than what they already have because don't think you know people are not thinking they're thinking don't think they're not thinking about it they're thinking about it however the joy of having the answer is indescribable and here today you have to say well where are the answers the answers are here the minute you ask. The minute mm. you ask me, I will answer you with a question that you, I mean, with an answer that you can, listen, wrap your mind around. And that will sink in, listen, more than me deep to where you can consult your discerning spirit and say, is this person telling me the truth? Or is this person lying? Right. Because each of you have a discerning spirit. And the discerning spirit is the part of you, which is that little voice that tells you if something is true or not. When the mm-hmm. truth is told, you can feel it and you better bet. Mm-hmm. The answer I give you <laughs> to whatever question you may have when the answer is rendered you're going to feel what i got to say it's not going to just up and go away meaning the answer that i give you it might not answer itself in the way that you may feel it should because many people are not looking for answers you know there's two different types of questions Ooh. one questioner really wants to know the other questioner don't want to know nothing and Mm -hmm. they're easy to spot what do i mean by that the questioner who really wants to know will say master would you mind answering this question for me please because it's been bothering me and my soul needs an answer to this and i'm asking you here to please answer this if it's at all possible for you to do the other right. question the other question that will say you're so smart answer this mm-hmm. you see and the second, the second one that person ain't trying to get answers to nothing why because they think they already what no. no all they're trying to do is punch holes into whatever it is that you bring it. Mm-hmm. No. Because wisdom knows that it knows nothing at all. And if the wise is smart enough to humble out, then you have to ask yourself, why aren't those types of being smart enough to humble out also? I'll tell you why. What, what the hell say? is that? It came out the devil right there messing That's with exactly it. That's exactly what I was about to say. I was about to say, I feel sorry for those beings who, you know, want to think like they already know because the wise, the wisdom way is always the same. The wise know that they know nothing at all. They know how to humble out. So why would these beings, these types of beings that I spoke about, be so the way they are. I'll tell you why. Because of the devil. Mm. You follow me? Right. And the truth of the matter is, anybody who thinks the devil is not real, and let me tell you something. The only reason you may think the devil is not real is because the devil himself has fooled you. Mm. It's not being able to see 
what he's doing to you and your people in a way that is so subtle. It's like a black ant moving on a black rock in the darkest part of the night. Mm. So, you know, these ways and these tactics that this demon utilizes against, don't fool yourself, the most high chosen people. Mm. You hear what I call you? Chosen. The most high chosen what? People. People. Listen to that shit. <laughs> mm. Coming out of nowhere, you know, these little noises and sounds and shit and that, that's the devil. Having to make himself known in some type of way. Mm. You follow me? We yeah. don't know where the sound's coming from. We're not the ones, you know, putting that into motion. But you better bet every time I'm going to say something, it's going to make sense. It's going to touch something on your inside that you're the son and spirit to say, yo, that brother's telling the truth. It's going to identify with you better bet that's kicking the devil in his nuts. Mm. And the devil's going to do whatever he can to fight back in whichever way he can dream up. And you're talking about a conniving, sneaky, calculated, mischief maker. Mm. Now, the reason I stop is because I want that to speak in. A conniving, deceitful, sneaky, mischief maker that speaks around making mischief. Whose ways are subtle. If you could, does anybody who else is on the line with us? Just me and you. Just me and you. I was going to ask somebody to look up the word shuffle. I, I can want Google somebody it. to get definition to the word shuffle so that you start to understand what you're dealing with. Can you look it up? Oh, I got it right here. Are we going to read it? Yeah, please. Subtle definition especially of a change or distinction so delicate or precise as to be difficult to analyze or describe. Did you hear that? Now say that again. <laughs> so delicate or precious, precise as to be difficult to analyze or describe. That's the, so in other words, this, those, the ways that he uses are subtle. They're, they're hard to describe. You follow? Mm. Now, Ooh. that's the only definition that that, that, that word renders? Uh, a what couple of other words. Um, Go ahead, read that. All right. Of a mixture or a delicately complex and understand, understated. Making use of clever and indirect methods to achieve something. Say that again. Making use of clever and indirect methods to achieve something. Go ahead. He tried a more subtle approach. Yep, like for example, he tried a, a more subtle approach. That's how I use it in the sentence. Well, mm -hmm. what you are describing is how the devil works. I have a book out here today called The 48 Laws of Power. Mm -hmm. Have you ever read it? Read that? Half of it. All about the same That's thing written over and over. That's written by the devil. Wow. In a real way. True. And all, I mean, come on. If you, it talks about taking your diamonds of the week. True, yep, and power. It. Right. It's, it goes into the situation it's manipulating, trying to manipulate. Manipulation at its highest form. Cool. 
the truth of the matter is that nobody stands up for the downtrodden, the oppressed, the voiceless, the ones that can't speak for them what? Shut up. Well, I'm here for those people. I got something to say on their behalf. That the devil yeah. is going to get behind me, Satan. And get behind us all. For your days are now up and what? Over. Over. Before we take step one to lock you up. To entrap you. You follow me? Because you can't kill it. You can't kill a devil. You Mm. can only trap him. And lock him up. And make his ways. Make him take his ways and stand down in it. Where it's no longer, as did I say, a situation wherein you are so overly affected by. You follow? Right. Well, that's what I'm doing now. I'm setting a situation where I'm going to trap the what? Devil. The devil. Lock him up. Mm. And when I lock him up, you'll see a relief in Whatever it is you as a person of color are doing, you'll find yourself able to achieve these things mm. with less strength of, of adversity attached to it. I'm doing that for every newbie and woman and man and child on the planet right now. Whatever you're doing, that you want to get done, I'm going to make it where it's not that hard for you anymore. See, more than doing, we are decided. And once the decision has been seen to be made firm, the doing will become effortless. Mm. So, you know how they say, easier said than done? Yep. No, it's done and then made easy. Mm. Step one is always the doing. So I'm doing step one for you. I'm going to get it done in a way by which it don't hurt that bad no more. Take away the sting and give you some laughs and some joy. If not for a moment, if not for a long time, at least for a good moment. By which you all, because you deserve it. Haven't you been through enough? Ain't you tired? I would be after all I've seen you all go through. <laughs> so what do you come here for? Because I know you're tired. You've been in the desert, boy. Your lips are chopped. You're thirsty. And nobody has even thrown you a cactus. Nobody has thrown you a canteen or nothing. Well, I'm going to give it to you. The water you need. That your lips don't have to be chapped that way and painting you. To the point that they crack and bleed. No. I'm going to relieve some of the heartache. Sure, my name is that too late. Sure, my name is that sure 2,000 years ago, and I'm here right here today. Watch and see what I say over the next 72 hours. You'll see a significant difference. Any woman across the globe, you're going to have a relief for a small period of time. That's through my love I'm affording each of you. Now, that's what I'm telling the devil to expect. And I want to see what he do to try to stop it. Mm-hmm. He ain't getting as bad as he think he is. Yeah. But hey, anybody you got you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you, I was listening to after he speaks to the people. You know, it's like, you know, I know you did that over, you know, oh, five to ten years ago. And it just sounds so relevant yeah, here today. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. That's a powerful thing. Let me tell you something. That piece right there is as powerful today, maybe even more powerful today, than what it was 10 years ago when I first wrote it in Buffalo. Mm. I remember the day I wrote it out was behind a closed door at somebody's house. And the man's mama yelled out to me, are you all right? I said, yeah. Mm-hmm. He said, you crying? I said, yeah. 
She mm. said, why are you crying? I say, because if you can only see what I'm writing on this piece of paper. And man, let me tell you something. Those were some powerful things said. And the day I went into the studio, I remember going in, me and the brother did the music the day before. Right. And the music in itself is divine. If you listen to it, oh, it has a way now. That's yeah, music nice is some divinely set, uh, 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 you know, tones you hear in there. You got to listen past what I'm saying, though. Those of you who, you know, want to tune in to the music itself, and you'll see them tones ain't ordinary. Mm. Some tones of, of extraterrestrial origin. Right. And I remember going into the studio the next day and going into the booth, and the studio was crowded, and everybody saw me go up in the booth, but they didn't have no idea what I was going up in there to say. Mm. When I came out, mm -hmm. everybody in the studio was looking at me with their mouths wide open. Because <laughs> I had said a whole lot. You put it Let down. Let me tell you something. That thing here today, if you take time to hear what I'm saying in it, it delivers a whole lot. And I mm. really hope you're going to play it for them. If you do, I will hope they really listen to it this time. I hope okay. they really do. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, matter of fact, uh, oh, it's an old one. What I can do, yeah, I can uh, put it now because about we put, I think posted about a year ago. What I do, I put it on the end of this call. We could do it like that. Okay, you can do it like that then. I'm saying, can I listen to it with you? Yeah, um, we got the call. I send it to you. It's 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 about from last year, but what I do, um, just don't worry about it. Do what you got to do to deliver it the best of way. I love you all, and I, I, anybody who's hearing my voice, I want you to know I love you. And then mm -hmm. the most I bless you to protect you all. Hear now that I say, shout it out. Peace and love. Peace shout it out, Chief. Shout it out. Yep, yep. Shout it out. Today, my beloved family of Nubians all across this planet, we as a people have an adversary whose name is Ashtar Command. But to them, the knowledge of the X remained unknown, which is why they then would move to use it as that type of symbol in mathematics, you know. For from it, the means to bring true divine love here, which is us, exists. A light beings who carry color, but it's the meeting place of the heavens and the earth that they knew nothing of. That they then knew nothing about, but would come to know and then try to destroy it. That was happening for us as a people once every 16 seconds all over the planet Earth. Each time a Nubian child was being born and an elder was leaving the carriage. That is until the attempt to use it. Which is why now you will say, I am tempted to speak to her. But they had then reversed it, taking everything that was good and turning it evil. And at the same time turning it upside down. Including you and your crown. The day you was born. In fact, the very minute, the very hour, you came into existence. Which is why they then came to say, you all are born in sin. Speaking it all into existence now, with their pornography and everything else. And why? By being taught by Zuen, who is Lucifer. What was good, what was evil, because they, as our command, did not know. Because the angels of the green light who personify are reptiles who have control over themselves. While the angels of the red light don't. And the angels of amber sometimes do, sometimes don't. Which is your third kind, you know. Which then gave to you your close encounters of the third kind. Coming to you from Lucas Studios in Marin County, California. While the white light beams had none. Nothing. No color at all. And no home training as well. Being taught, however... The whole way by those who were out of control and didn't care to know in the very least shape, form, or fashion. With the white light beams all standing there in spite, however, looking down their noses at this, that, and the third, these and those, right up until they figured it out that they could not have babies and or our women. And then 
they said to us, wait, I was just playing around. And the Romulans didn't embrace them, but exploited and extorted them the whole way as the damn fools that they are. That is until they then, as Ashtar Command, started to develop Romulan ways. And now, they think they are really down, but in no way are they really. And they know this, but still, they lay in a hidden chase of our Nubian women, making it the reason they named the princess in the movie Star Wars, Leia, which is, lay her. I will or want to lay with her and fall, because they know also that here today is an in-man study of the Nubian woman. Many things have been learned, but never fully figured out, deciphered, because her, sake, her secrets still remain unknown. However, this study continued with the white man on one side and the brother on the other, and with her stuck smack dab in the middle of it all. Manipulated the whole way, however, by her stresses and strains throughout the struggle. Taken advantage of every day also, constantly, by virtue of this fact. While the whole time the secret, which is not a secret at all, is that she, my brother, is the prize from which all life comes. With the white man coming to know also that she has many layers of material and physical needs that in every way should be met. And so he continues and still continues to hold the brothers back from being able. And in this, he puts us in need of a cane from his grave to our cradle to give us over and or a job where it is said plainly take my servant Job and do with him as you will said by their Anu however about us to the devil while our Anu looked on and cried saying oh hell no never will I let my servant die like the demon did my other whose name was Abel and with this the white man will crumble like the crust of a pastry pie. For to my servant Job, who is the Nubian man, and my brother, I say this, that there is no need to be patient. For who has patience with a patient such as the white man? For he is sick. And patience, my son, is the act of waiting. And why should you have to wait for what I have already placed in your hand? So, you. I will give it all, the equipment that they, who are the white man and the Nubian woman, will never overstand, which is my gift to you, the Nubian man. So know that it's you who will only cater to her spirit, for it is made of color, which is something that he, the white man, will never overstand. And it's for you, my son. And my brothers, who is the Nubian man, who will only be her lover, for her love will always be in your hand. So, her cipher is yours to decipher, for only you, I say, will overstand. And so the brother, here today, caters to her spirit and her spiritual side. That also has many layers of needs, and no matter how deep the dark, you, my brother, can dance. The two of you, like no other, for you, the brother, realize and understand what her true needs are, which run deeper than the ocean, from which it all began. For she, my brothers, is the first and the last to swim with us and walk with us, even at Atlantis. And even then again, right on back into the waters, where it is we didn't walk this time, but ran, for her spiritual layers are as such, and you all realize from now on, that they are the onion, and if peeled away just right, you can make her cry, and for this, she will be your maid, and your mother, and always remain by your side, for this is a news decree, which will not be frustrated. So don't you dare, after all this, as my brothers shed not one tear and or even start to cry. 
for the crime times are over. As long as I, Rashu L, have an eye, and always know that I love you all, my brothers and my wives. And so now the cold twist is over, but it's now been dispelled, untwisted, and made warm. So smile, for the circle of life again has been made warm by the God by himself and will last forever in your homes, families, and domains. But it will remain whole and eternal. So says the God Ra. Be, and it be just like honey. So sweet. For it is incredible, which means it stands in a state of credit to Abel. Which is what I named my first son before his name became Jamal. But to further show you all their trickery, which is not trickery at all, because in no way can they trick or fool us, but simply in a, in a state of sickness that through their own accord here today, they simply have tricked themselves into by trying to separate themselves from the all, and in so doing, turning against the natural order of things, and the whole way trying to manipulate us to their benefit and our very own determined and demise that they are alchemically slick and here today you will hear them say to be straightforward is always to make yourself clear which only clears the way for them to firmly say I'm not straight I'm gay and it's here on one level they show themselves but keep in mind there are two others with one being the first and two being the second and the third concealed one is confused and is extremely blind and dangerous to itself and everybody, man, woman, and child, it may come in contact with. And true is the second attribute, which is constantly feeding you all dualities that are not real and or realities. And its third remains very much so, concealed, hidden, but calculated, coming from two lines, which walk on both sides of the street at the same time, being straight, and at the same time, crooked, and not straight at all. Being forward, and at the same time, backwards, but will fall. For it is wrong as two left shoes, three sides are too small. And it is these two lines, like I have already shown you, in the center of our circle called life, that here today, they use to divide into sectors that have now become sectors of the poor, the middle class, the rich and the famous, divisible by two, you know, which they say is even. That is, even and if it is not so. Because you don't have none of the power, my brothers, that they do, and this science delivers and transmits. And because three is hard and at one time was the very name of this planet, whose mysteries they are still trying to unveil and cause to become naked, like they have done our women, who are caught up, out there doing wrong, doing the doo-doo, and don't know no better, while they on the other hand continue to try to cast spells over your mind, as they hide themselves and let Hollywood do what it do, that divides by two, which are the have and the have-nots, Male and female, blacks and whites, which is them versus you. But from amongst us, the Nubian woman has way more legally than the Nubian man has. It's true, but the only reason this is so is because they cater to you, the Nubian sister. So always know, they cater to the Nubian sister, it is because all of our real brothers refuse to call them mister in the penitentiaries, you know. All while we miss you, and you do the things you do, sister. And because they want this planet, so don't forget that. And they will cater to you whether you are in New York, Mississippi, Montgomery, Alabama, California, and or plain old Decatur, Georgia. It don't matter. Because what they use and have been using... In it all, in having all white planets, is a thing that they call 
the science of alchemy. But what's the use in having an all-white planet if, uh, if your woman can't have no baby? Won't last too long. And it's because of this very reason why they came up with two alchemical plans to try to solve the problem and get them through, which is the Ishtar Command performance and the homosexual plan to see to it that their women become fertile, which was and is futile. Because resistance is futile, and never will it be fertile with a cold twist. And because this real world, since Baba, who is at Tomb Raider, who is Melchizedek, who is the angel Mikael himself, right knowledge just will not let up and or let go or go away. And they know it. And why? Because most of our brothers are locked up and we don't have no more time for that and or to waste and or to play games and or to play around. Because like I said, we don't play games and we are here to wake you up. So rise while they try to hold you down. A hundred and forty four thousand of you. And this heat is coming to you from the sun, which is making their mother, whose name is Earth, run from our very touch. While all of nature, on the other hand, is running up to us and wants us to pick them up. All the little children, the plants, and the animals, so that we can give them a hug and they can hug us too and bathe in our warmth, which is the way it's supposed to be and what we're supposed to do, that they know cannot be denied, but we make it just right for them, just right for all, all the little babies, and never will we burn them or make them cry. While here on the other hand, because many of you sisters have now turned to girls gone wild, you don't need no man. Now do you believe, by identifying yourself with this harlot called Mother Earth, as the harlot she is, wearing your fake nails, your eye and your fake hair, and your fake eyewear, that is designed by the devil, and also designed to make all eyes turn towards you, with this becoming the reason by which here today you mostly are running away from the brother too. That is, especially if he comes to you with a truth like this one in his hand. And why? Because you are not going to want to hear it. Now are you, boo? And nor are you going to want to comply and or refrain and or want that brother to restrain or contain you in any way. As the sister you are and the brother he is holding you in place to keep you all from killing yourself and or killing all the next generations to come by doing the things you do and you all know too that you don't have no business doing anyway in trying to manipulate the male species of this planet and of uh, your very own race and nation that makes this truth for you just a little too hot to handle boo and just a little too intense now doesn't it for it is burning away your fake nails, your hair, and eyelashes too. That has now lashed you into a place you don't need to be. And that is because that mindset in you has got to go. But it has now become inflamed and is infected, child, with gangrene as a name. And needs to be lashed before it kills us all and or amputated. Because you have now grown accustomed to doing your thing, girl is doing what to do that has been put there through generation after generation of misprogramming which is generating now a poison in most of you who are the overall majority which is causing you all now to find you yet another victim the same way this harlot will do called mother earth for she turns and runs every time she sees the sun's face as the sun's light touches her at her equator, which is at her very center, that then sends her to thinking about herself, which is something that she does not want to do, that then makes her start to equate herself with you, the new man brother, 
When she then starts to spew out hot molded lava, which is everything she thinks that is wrong with you. The very same way volcanoes do, which is foul, can, no, which is foul, can, no, which is that which Vulcans do not do. But the truth is, she looks at the four winds that hold her in place as if those ships of ours are some type of disgrace and or some sort of collar or noose around her neck. That is a new scent to her, but she doesn't even know and can't figure it out. And nor does she like it. And this is happening in every Nubian home across the globe. And all because the brother wants to hold you in place and will say, hell no, hold your position, woman. And all while these are the very positions you need to maintain. And all the very things you need to hear. That is, if you don't want to die, but most of you do, and don't mind, and you think we don't know. When it is we who fed and clothed you, and are now bringing you out of the rain. For you now have grown to be so selfish that you can't even tell that you are wet with an abomination, which is the white man's sperm. See, albino nation, and has been in you now since as far back as the days of slavery, eating from the inside out like a cancer, now being passed down from mother to daughter, mother to daughter, mother to daughter, on down to you right now. And why do you need to hear all of this? For they are the very things causing you to maintain your self-respect, integrity, and decency. So don't get pissed. What should by now be self-induced after all the right knowledge you've learned? So close your legs, woman, and your mouth, but not your legs to us, meaning those who love you. But all that mouth and head we can do without. For little do you know, it has now caused the God men to step in now, and right now, I dare you to say with your smart mouth, so, for you are about to figure it out, for it will now cause what is called the domino effect, it's true, and don't believe me, check it out, for it is all over now, it's true, because the question is, do men know, like in dumb men know, no, but now they do, which is why you all will say things like, I didn't play him, play that nigga, he played himself, and why, because he was a fool, and that's what fools do, because at no time did I ask him for shit, he just gave it to me, and I didn't tell him he was going to get none, but you implied it though, sir, and you all would work as you all would work your little self, and in this move, we get some, yeah right, leading the brother on, to think he would get some, what a nasty little game you play, and this, is the sophisticated hoe who said to herself, I don't have to sell my body to get what I want. And to that I say so, and well, now what? Because you, because all you proved yourself to do was to get yourself in trouble, which didn't prove to get you nothing other than what you needed to disgrace and degrade yourself. That was mentally developed in you by your mother, Back in the days of slavery That made you say here today That niggas ain't shit That we can see That you don't know too much about honey But we Who are your elders Have been watching you From a place that you knew not Just like we have been watching the brothers But there is none That can escape our eye Which sees all That includes you Even when you was in the dark Doing what you do And all the things you do Big and small. But the question is, how did it all start? And the answer to that, many of you do not know. But let me tell you, by you all being hung upside down the very day you were born. That's how. And by you being introduced to white light too much too fast. You feel me? That here today has made you all slip into an existence that is not yours. That only right knowledge now has the power to pull you out here today. That is, before you all break your necks by falling down to the point that you can no longer get up off the floor. But can, never could do nothing, and couldn't is can's cousin. No family of yours, which leads you only one direction, which is up. So rise and stand tall as 
a nation of people, my beautiful black brothers and sisters, rise. For the time is now. But if not, they won't have to do you. They won't have to do nothing to you. But you all will do it to yourselves. With tears in your eyes the whole time knowing better. And in this, you all would have done it to yourselves. And how just by constantly trying to embrace their ways instead of your very own. And to that, we say, what a waste of valuable time and effort. But all that rap having been expended for nothing. So rise, those children of Israel, and reclaim your throne. For it is yours to have and readjust your vision. Reclaim it now. So it is all upside down and backwards to you anyhow. So feel my rhythm and my tone. Let's make it so. But together, there's nothing we can not do. Right or wrong. And in this, speak to me. Because I will talk back. For I am not just your brother. I am the God that you can call. Not this time. It ain't going that way. Meaning, you can get stuck with me. And now all rise together, for it is over, and we have only just begun. And all praise is due to our fathers and mothers who are in heaven. For we have survived, in spite of how you all came through the birth canal, and what was introduced to you first. So rise, mother, father, sister, brother, rise and fly back to where you all belong. With us back together again. But we have come full circle now, and the truth is your light. And in this, to find your way to the brother, all you got to do is open your eyes. It's not hard. And believe me, trust in every word I say, and to me, we'll be there when you get there. So survive, survive, survive in the light of divine love.
have done. Having the knowledge now and from here forevermore. And these words come from the lips of mercy. Mercy. Me. For they have been given to me. And now I give them to you. Coming from no other but our Anu. For his is the might, the power, the glory. As a mercy from no other And it is now by you hearing them In the heart chakra That you all now can be touched And touch one another The right way now But not of myself Alone have they been written And they have been written well And placed in my cipher That I might fashion in truth With the hand of an artist That interwoven With reality of all things that are and are yet to come Fastening from out of this a design so intricate That it cannot be denied For no one knows but he who is And who himself Who is the true anomaly When it was commenced And if it is to be at all finalized For it is not, will not, and never has been And the art that is produced, the talent, the strength of it all, bears witness. From a state of being without, to a state of having it all. Not once, but thrice, thrice times greatest, forevermore. That then produces all that is needed for the whole family. For that which is yet to come, has arrived. And all that comes from within... And who's I? Level, 
which was right before the year 1970, when the seven seals were then opened by Mikhail himself, with such an excellence, perfection, and its finest, by the Lamb of the Most High himself, who is the Lamb and the Lion. Just as humble as we all also know our origin to have been so far, far beyond this shall we all sign for all the pain and suffering we all have under and overgone worldwide, within worlds, without, and finally finding peace permanent. An etheric entity who carries color, housed in a physical shell, who is driving a car along a road that is provided for the whole way. In a consciousness of spirituality divine that is identified and expressed in a touch that is divine within itself, that we know has touched. Of the master's hand, who is Malachi G. Young. But now is the time to go forth once again in the green light and every color that we carry within, with all that each of us has shared in that, as the hundred and forty-four thousand that we are. And now. And all that which is, and all that which is. 